Why do you think the market tanked 633 yesterday? Tom, why do you think the market tanked 633 yesterday? The stock market hates uncertainty. And there is a tremendous amount of automated trading. And the automated traders, you know, they plug things into, the, into their models based making like a weather forecast. They look at interest rates. They look at employment. They look at supply costs. And they plug those in. And, say, there's, oh, and when there's uncertainty, you can almost see when all these algorithms and the programmatic trading refreshes. It was up 300 in the morning. The f more, remember, and the more it went, all of a sudden it starts tipping. And it's because they're, they look at momentum. They look at a lot of things. The market hates uncertainty. And the market says we have... We are not certain about how we're going to be governed and legislated and more uh, regulated is the way the businesses pronounce it. We, we don't know what's going to happen there because we don't know the outcome of these elections here, here, and here. And when they plug that uncertainty in there, what happens is they sell current positions. And when Did you see what's going on today with the stock market? Yeah, I'm sending that Watch to you, this. Tyler, this, right this, uh, Adam just showed it to me. Yeah, well, 700, here's up so, 850. Yeah, so basically yeah, here's what's going on in the market today. Yep. Everything's up. Big, big, big. Dow Jones up 800. <laughs> S&P up 156. NASDAQ, Russell, Ethereum, Amazon, Tesla, Disney, NVIDIA, Apple, Meta, Google, everything up. Big, 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 big. The only thing that's down today, the only thing. What? What? Bitcoin. I, how weird is that? Yep. So Pat was right. Pat, yesterday we should have bought as much shit as we could. Yesterday was the day. Yeah, but when it was down. You know, I rang the bell at NASDAQ since I last saw you. Oh, saw that. wow. I, I've yeah. had a, how was that? I've had a good year. That was, was for Rumble. It was right? pretty sweet. How that was, was that? It, it was incredible. It was, this was about a month and a half ago. That's cool, uh, right? Went to New York, and I saw Locals, which was my tech company that I started to fight big tech. We merged with Rumble. Rumble through SPAC. It was basically the only SPAC of the year that actually did right. its thing as it was supposed to. And uh, yeah, about a month and a half ago, I went there. Dang. That's sick. Rang the bell. And what was super cool about it was I used to do stand-up at a little comedy club that we started. It was underneath... TGI Friday in New York, 49th yeah. and uh, Broadway, which was right next to Lehman Brothers, which then obviously became Barclays and whatever else it is now. Uh, but I used to stand out there two hours a night, six nights a week, handing out tickets to comedy to the shows. shows when I had yeah, no I freaking money. Wow. I was barking. I, I was broke. I was broke. I had a friend who worked in food service who used to just deliver me giant industrial cans of tuna. That's what I lived on wow. for like 10 years. Amazing. Probably going to die of mercury poisoning. <laughs> one day. But you look red. But you're red. Uh, I'm all right now. But yeah. uh but literally two blocks away from that, I'm, I'm ringing the bell 15 years that's later. So like, cool. That's cool. Awesome. That's, that's the that. American dream. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, the, that's the yeah. great. You were super liberal eating that tuna at that point, no? I was, I was a lib. I was eating a lot of tuna. Now you By the way, it's all steak. It's all steak. Raw. Raw. Talking about SPACs. Uh, Truth Social. Yeah. The day he announced he's going to be announcing his presidency next week, stock went up 66% in a day. Wow. Then right after Super Tuesday, midterms, uh, his stock dropped twenty eight percent. Okay, twenty two to twenty eight percent the following day. So his spac yesterday. Yeah. So yesterday. So so he check to see where it's at today. The spac, but it went sixty six when he announced that he's announcing. It's Dwight. Because you know how Trump, Trump does that. He announces to announce to announce. So he's, uh, but yeah, his spac uh, had a good day and then it had a bad day after the turnout. So so Tom, now that the market's up eight eighty eight, what the hell is going on now? Well, you'll see these in cycles. Sometimes this is called a dead cat bounce in uh, trader parlance. So yesterday, things go down, and then there's a perception that things are on sale. And so now you add a lot of momentum right out of the gate making a purchase. I don't think it'll stay this 800 for the to the end of the day. I think it's going to settle back. But this is, this is our stock market. It gets spooked one day, and then things are down enough, and it says, hmm, I think some of these things may be, you know what? I can make a little, I can make a little play here, and people. You said, you said they said uh, if uh, the the inflation is going to come at seven point nine, if it comes at seven point and seven point nine, they're not worried that Powell's going to overreact. It's still going to increase interest rates in December, but not dramatically. But if inflation comes eight or higher, he may increase by a point, by one basis point. In December, and a lot of people are panicking, specifically in the real estate mm -hmm. world. Half a point is, seems to be locked in right now. Well, here's breaking news from Wall Street Journal. This is 10 minutes ago. Inflation eased to 7.7% in October as underlying price increases, including ener excluding energy and food, slowed down from four-decade high. Well, guess what? Yesterday, things were down. Mm -hmm. appear like they're on sale. Now they get confirmation that they're probably not going to get that one point. It'll be the half a point that they've already got Market priced reacts. in. Market reacts up. No. It has certainty 
that it's going to be a half point, not a full point, because <laughs> that, that, that. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here. Future looks bright here. We got them in white. We got them in black. We got them in red. Our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people wore it in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying future looks bright. To order your future looks bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.